finish this um, lovely uh, Icasa tetrahedron and uh, it means it's got 24 faces and it's actually pretty easy to make because each of the balloons, each of the four balloons only has um, 12 bubbles and so pretty pretty straightforward. That's why you can make it so big and it's uh, nice. Now another 24 sided uh, figure is <clears throat> So another Icosa tetrahedron, but this one's a uh, pentagonal one. And it's a brute to do because it's got um, 38 vertices, but more importantly, it's got um, 32 degree 3 vertices. And so degree 3 means you've got essentially a Y, okay? And so Ys, you know, a balloon comes in, a balloon goes out, and then how do you get the last one in? So it's, it's like a balloon has to stop there. So if I were to make this without cheating or internal structure or something, I'd have to have 16 balloons to make this. And so instead I use four, and the way I get around it is with these types of things here where I double up a bubble. And so um, doubling bubbles allows me to have um, only four balloons. And so there are essentially um, eight of the vertices that I that I have on the corners, leaving me 24 that are these double bubbles because um, I don't, one double bubble takes care of two of these vertices. And so a little bit of a brute to design, but, um, and this is not a great example, um, I don't even think uh, this one here is a good example because they're too boxy. They look a little bit like cubes, but they're based on a cube, so it makes sense. But anyway, the um, um, <laughs> I think this is more of a proof of concept that you can do it rather than a, a useful design. But you never know. Um, but yeah, only four balloons, 18 bubbles per balloon. Um, possible, a little bit, little bit hard in the memory to remember the design. But um, yeah. thought you might be interested. Um, if somebody's truly interested, uh, I might be able to be convinced to uh, show you how. Anyway, cheers. Pentagonal Icosa Tetrahedron, or Icosi Tetrahedron.